how's it going guys so today we're on nba 2k21 this is my first nba 2k21 my team video and um i got a bunch of nba 2k20 my team videos if you're interested as well i don't know really why you would be though just because it's a new year it's new cars i mean none of that stuff's available anymore i don't know why you'd be playing that game anymore so yeah this is my first nba 2k21 video on the my team and um, i'm just going to kind of go through the menus and show you guys what's going on show you guys my triple threat squad show you guys some of my favorite cards and you know just kind of an introduction to the way i'm going to be playing this year and an introduction to the mode itself if you haven't played it yet or you haven't got the game yet and you're planning on playing my team just so you know kind of what to do if you're going to get it soon so yeah um that's kind of what i'm going to be doing also if i seem a little bit excited in this video i'm sorry um the Heat, my team, they've been my team since ever since I can remember watching basketball, probably the age of seven or eight. They uh, just made it to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time since 2014, so my heart's still kind of racing. I'm still pretty pumped up about that, so if I kind of stumble on my words or seem a little bit excited, I apologize, but that may happen once or twice, and uh, yeah, so that's kind of enough with the introduction. Let's go through the menus. I'll show you guys what's up. So, first of all, we got some new packs. Um, They also released packs when the game first came out, the East and West tip-off packs, and now they got the um, playoff stopper packs, and I'll go through all the cars and which ones I like and which ones I don't in a little bit. But there's also this XP system. This is completely new. I'm at level 13 right now. You have to get to level 40 by – there's 38 days left in the season, so you have to get to level 40 by then, and then you get pink time in Steph Curry. So I'm probably going to go for that. I mean – We'll see if I can make it. Um, some of the challenges are getting kind of harder and harder as you move along. But, yeah, that's kind of how that works. And then single player triple threat, I got 18 wins, I believe. It might be 19. We'll see here. 18, yeah. And I kind of want to get that Diamond Brian Winters card out of the vault. But he seems extremely rare. I haven't really seen anyone that's been using him or anything. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'll get him. We'll see. But, um, yeah. And then the Sapphire Jamario Moon card for 15 wins, too. I think he's pretty good. So if you guys have the time, you want to grind out 15 quick wins and get that card, that would be a really good small forward for you guys. And a pretty good card in Triple Threat, too, just because he's pretty fast and he can rim run. And that's kind of what's going on in the game now is uh, really all that people are doing is rim running because there's only a few cards that can shoot. I have a couple pretty decent shooters, but I run two shooters and a rim runner. And I'll get into my lineup here in a little bit, like I said. And they just dropped Spotlight Challenges today with the new packs, too. So you get a uh, Sapphire Wall Fraser and then one of the new packs as well. And this Wall Fraser and four other cards are going to lock in for, I think, Diamond Bill Russell or something like that. And then, um, yeah. So we'll see how that goes. And then Domination, these are the rewards. Just like I mentioned this in my last video, too. I don't really like Domination because I find that 5-on-5 five five offline is just mind-numbingly boring. So... That's why I haven't played any of that, but, um, yeah. And my team, Unlimited, I'm in the Gold League album. I'm only 3-1. and one. The game that I lost is kind of BS. I only lost by, like, three points, but, yeah, that's kind of what's going on there. I'm going to try and, you know, I'm still a long way off Pink Time and Paul Pierce, but we'll see if we can get him. And then this is my, I'll show you guys my lineup here in Triple Threat Online, so let's let it load up here. And, yeah, so... I haven't really been, I had Zion in there, I haven't really been using him, I've been using um my boy Sapphire Spud Webb, because he is just a better version of Gus Johnson, Derek, he's a better version, not of Derek Rose, but he's a better version of Ruby Gus Williams and uh, Emerald Bobby Jackson, who are also really small rim running point guards, but Spud Webb has the edge over him in my opinion, because he can dunk. So that's why I'm using him. I'm also using Diamond Larry Bird, who I had to kind of grind for some MT to get. And then Mitch Richmond, you can see that original owner there. I actually ended up pulling him when the game like first came out. So that was dope, and he's a super good shooter. Same with Larry. So like I said, two shooters and then the rim runner. And that's kind of what I would recommend for you guys in Triple Threat Online. And then Limited is not active right now. It will be next weekend if you want to go for one of these championship rings. But I haven't played any of this either. Because I don't, I don't really like playing games with the requirements. I just like to play with whoever I want to play with because I feel like that's the whole point of my team. So I don't really like game modes like that, but I'll probably end up playing a little bit through the year. And then tokens, I'm on the Sapphire board. I need one more to get to the Rubies. I'm probably going to get um, either Ricky Rubio or Derek Favors. We'll just see what happens. I'm not, I don't really have any interest in any of those other cards. 
And then rubies, there's some good rubies too. I don't know who I'm going to give, but yeah. And then there's five pink diamonds right now currently, no galaxy opals. So maybe I'll do a video like I did kind of when I started off videos last year where I rank these five cards. If you guys would like to see that, just make sure to let me know. And same with the gameplay. If you guys want a gameplay with like Larry Bird, Mitch, and just my triple threat lineup in general, let me know that as well. So, yeah, and then here's the packs. Got the playoffs upper packs. This Diamond Ben Wallace is going for so much MT. I don't think he's worth it either because he can't even really shoot. So, I don't think he's worth it. Um, I would say Doug Chris, he's the best card in this set just because he does have a pretty decent three ball and he's got a lot of height for the shooting guard position. Dennis Johnson, you know, he, he's got like a 65 three ball or something. So, I don't really see any use for him even though he does have Hall of Fame clamps. I just don't think it matters. And then for these season tip-offs, I did pull Mitch Richmond, as I said. He's probably my favorite card out of these two, so I'm glad that I did. Hakeem, obviously, I'd like, but I can't really afford him. And then Larry, I bought with, I think I paid like 85 KMT for him on the second day of the game. So that was a huge W. I would like Allen Houston or Derrick Rose. Those are probably the two next cards I'm looking to pick up. But um, I'll just have to grind for some MT or get lucky and pull one of them. Because I don't really have any interest in these playoff stoppers. And then this set also locks in for, I'll show you guys in a minute here. It also locks in for this um, Diamond Gary Payton. But I know that Gary Payton and a few other cards are going to lock in for like Pink Diamond Julius um, Irving or something like that. Or it might be James Worthy actually, sorry. Yeah, I think it's Pink Diamond James Worthy. But I don't think that that's worth it, dude. Like that's just going to be so much MT tied up into a pink diamond. That's going to be outdated by Christmas. So I really don't recommend that. I know a lot of the YouTubers and stuff are going to be locking in all those, but I just don't think it's a good idea, man, at all. I really don't. See, so yeah, there's Larry. There's Mitch. Um, and I, like I explained, I'll probably go for um, Derek Rose around Houston next. I don't know which one because I do like both cards. Um, but yeah, that's kind of about it. Here's my main squad too. Here's a bunch of those sci-fi rewards that I've been running. Probably throw Drew Gooden in the lineup. I don't know who for yet, but maybe Tom Sanders. Tom Sanders is a pretty bad card. So we'll just see. Um, some of these sci-fi rewards are pretty mediocre. I mean, but Spud Webb's really good. Brian Russell's really good. Jamario Moon's good. He's not a token reward. He's a triple threat reward, like I said earlier. But yeah, rest of these kind of just mediocre, just kind of just there. You know, they're not going to really do a whole lot. But um, yeah, there was also a locker code today. So you guys can get a new pack if you wish to do that. Um, If you get lucky in it, of course. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's honestly pretty much it. I kind of wanted to just give you guys an intro on who I'm running with and what I suggest to do. And I guess overall, what I would suggest to do is save up. Get some of those cards from those first couple sets. I don't think any of the cards from the set that came out today are going to be worth it. So I would say get either Diamond, um, Hakeem, or Larry if you can afford them, which I know a lot of people probably can. So if you can't, go for either Amethyst Mitch Richmond, Amethyst Allen Houston, or Amethyst um, Derek Rose. And then those guys can kind of be the anchor of your offense. All those cards are pretty good. So, you know, yeah, that's just what I would do, man, if I was starting out today. And that's kind of the whole point of this video was to show you guys an introduction of what I'm doing and what I recommend doing. So, yeah, I think that's going to be about it. I really, really appreciate you guys tuning in. Feels good to be back. Let's go, Heat. Let's go for the ring this year, boys. And, um, yeah, I'll have another video out soon. Maybe either a pack opening or a gameplay, one of the two, or maybe even a ranking video. Not 100% sure yet, but, yes, yeah, there is much more 2K21 My Team content to come. So, just stay tuned. Appreciate you guys tuning in once again, and I will see you guys in the next vid-e-o.